Hi, this is Max from arbitragehero.com and in this video I'm going to talk about online arbitrage module which we have in Arbitrage Hero. To access online arbitrage module you need to go uh, to the left hand side menu and go to online arbitrage section and then click on analyze products. On this page uh, you will see some parameters or criteria which you can set for your product search and filtering but the main two fields which you need to use are the list of retailers so you must select a retailer or you must select a category you can't search without selecting either a retailer or the store or a category so if I click update it will tell you that you need to select uh, one of those other parameters which you can set here are sales rank uh, which sets the minimum percentage of the sales rank where your products should fall. Uh, by default it is 5%, but you can play with that parameter to your needs. You can also set a minimum return on investment, minimum profit which you want to get. Then you can uh, exclude uh, products where Amazon is on the listing, so you don't compete with those. Uh, then you can set minimum uh, cost and maximum costs for your products. If a particular store offers a discount at the moment, you can also set a discount to be uh, included in the price and profit calculations. And you can also set minimum number of sales per month, which we try to estimate based on certain criteria. And finally, we have recently added matching score parameter, which helps you to return either more accurately matched products if you set this parameter to higher number to 100 for example or you can set it to 50 and in this case you will get back more products but you will probably see more mismatches for that results so let's get it back to the original number so let's say i want to search for products in kitchen category so i am selecting home and kitchen then i click update and Arbitrage Hero comes back with a list of products from that particular category from all the stores which we have in Arbitrage Hero. So you can scroll and find an analyzed product and if you see something that you are interested in then you can see details of that product in here. You can also see charts of different parameters for that particular product then you can see your profit estimation. In this case, we have five pounds and 19 pence and return on investment is almost 24% in this case. Also, we have recently added units number here, which is very useful for bundles. Quite often Amazon has units set to one, even though those products are bundles. So if you see those things, you can always correct them uh, here. Uh, let's say you can set it to 4, click save and then Arbitrage Hero will recalculate your profits. So in this case I don't really need to change it. Also what you can do, you can click on the link either to go to Amazon or to uh, the source of that product. And if you have Seller AMP or SAS widget, then when I click on it, and we'll wait for a bit, you will see that uh, the SAS widget has been opened for me automatically and it was pre-populated with the numbers from Arbitrage Hero and you can uh, see your profit estimations in here. The same is true for the source of the product. If I click on the link for the store, it opens the store here and it will also open a seller AMP SAS widget for me with pre-populated numbers. Finally, if you want to filter out results based on the keyword, you can type, for example, knife here and it will filter out results uh, which you already have in the table quicker. Uh, also, you can select matched by barcode if you want to have matches only based on barcode unfortunately not all the stores return barcodes 
so you can also select matched by title and you can return it back to match by everything we also have functionality to sort out results here and you can sort results by profit by return on investment and by sales rank you can also export results in csv file if you want to do so uh, it is very useful uh, if you want to send that file to your virtual assistants for analysis uh, so you can use that functionality as well finally let's quickly talk about the buttons which you can see on the right hand side and the first button which looks like a star is add to favorites if you are considering buying certain products then to not forget about them you can add them to your favorites by clicking on the star button the next button which looks like a card you can click on it and you can add the purchase for that particular product so arbitrage hero can track your purchases for you automatically and also the price which is going to be entered here will be used for profit calculations once that product has been sold on amazon so on this screen you can set the units number and then you can set the date when you buy it but by default it is today uh, and once you save it then this purchase will be saved into arbitrage hero and you can later see it in inventory purchases list the next button is no match or match so if you see certain products uh, which not exactly the same then you can click on this button and it will open the pop-up with all possible matches so this is not the best example so let's try this one so yeah, this one returns more, but you can see that nothing really is matched better than this one. So if you don't see any matches, you can click no match. Or if you see certain products which are matched uh, to your product, then you can pick that product in here, click link, and then those products will be linked automatically. Also, if you know the asin of the product on amazon or you know url of that product you can enter it here click match and it will try to match that product based on that asin or url from amazon and finally the button which looks like uh, a bin uh, if you don't like certain product and you don't want really to sell it and you don't want to see it in the future you can click blacklist and then that product will be blacklisted for you and you are not going to see it in the future results if you want to play with arbitrage hero you can get a free trial in the link in the description and you can have a free access to this tool for 14 days uh, also if you liked that video please click like and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one thank you